It's a beautiful sport, and to me, the most beautiful expression of basketball is outdoor pickup basketball. Project Backboard's an effort to improve public outdoor basketball courts across the city of Memphis. It's adding lines to courts that don't have lines, covering graffiti, uh, also replacing backboards and adding graphic elements. I grew up in New York and eventually found my way to Memphis and was doing a lot of community health and fitness programs with the Memphis Grizzlies. And in that role, I was visiting a lot of parks and I was surprised to find that most of the parks didn't have lines on them. So if kids wanted to go and work on their free throws or their three-pointers, they didn't really have a place they could do that. So I realized, well, this is something that I can do. I can get a stencil, I can get some paint, I can get some funding, and I can go out and add the lines to the courts. Replacing graffiti with basketball court lines is the mission of one Mid-South group and neighborhoods right here in our city. And now there's a way you can get involved. If you spend any time in, in our city parks, what you start to notice is a lot of the courts in the city don't have the lines on the courts. A lot of the backboards, the corners, are breaking off. And so what we're trying to do is basically just come in Add those lines. Today we're at Orange Mountain Park. We came in and added the three-point line, which wasn't there in existence. Repainted some of the key area, and then also added a little graphic design of half oranges into the key. Right. You want to take that one off? Can you get it off the loop? This is my third park that I've worked on in Orange Mound. It's a really historic community, the first community in America where blacks were able to own their own property. And I've heard multiple people tell me, well, now that we've got lines, we might as well play a full court game. Basketball courts for a lot of communities are the center of those communities. Any park you see, most people are hanging out, it's next to the basketball court, whether they're playing or not. <laughs> Basketball's had a tremendous impact on my life. As a junior in high school, there was a new park that was built outside the middle school where I grew up in New York. And after school, we'd have informal basketball practice on these courts. That year, we had our best season in 10 years. The improvements I made going into my senior year of high school let me go play Division One basketball at Iona College and you know, really shaped a lot of the things I care about and, and opened me up to a lot of different experiences. A number of the parks I've been in, I've been out there painting and I've had you know, teenagers come up to me and, and start talking and pretty soon you know, they've got Kansas spray paint and they're helping me. Other parks, I've had as many as 40 volunteers help me on a court, and it's been fun to kind of help people realize that they can take ownership. On our website, projectbackboard.org, you can see all the courts that we've painted and it's scattered across the city. My hope is in the next few years, all the courts in Memphis have lines, official lines. There's 21 courts that still need lines. Depending on the size of your court and how much graffiti you have to cover, it's between $75 and $100 worth of paint. We'll help you get out there and make sure you're doing your park in a way that makes it look good. I always been a great partner in this initiative in terms of really providing some great structure around how to fundraise and how to set goals and how to communicate your story. Anyone who's got community improvement project that they don't have the money for but have the initiative and passion to execute if they did have the money and IOB can help you get there.